What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? Guess what, guys? Monday is back. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing 4th of July weekend. We got a lot of news to catch up today, guys. If you haven't already done, make sure you guys put in the comment section below hashtag FS Daily News. Okay, first, before we begin, guys, remember, this is a premiere. Well, if you guys are watching this on the premiere, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's try for, let's try for 100 likes today, guys. If you're watching this after the premiere, let's try for 700 likes. Okay, let's get to that news. The first piece of news is a shout out. I'd like to shout out Alien Paul, Lancy Boy, Oxygen David, Steve Mods, and Derp. Uh, on Saturday, we had a big, big live stream at 1 p.m. If you guys have not checked out that stream, make sure you guys do under the tractor stream with all of them. And it was an amazing stream. I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so there's that one right there. The next one is from Sid Mani. He said the John Deere 9650 now nearing completion. He will try to release it on all platforms. Uh, which would you choose for your farm, the 9600, 9610, or the 9650? Yeah, me, I'm thinking still the 9600, 9610. I do love that. He said, it has probably not been in the history of farming similar that so many popular John Deere combines were available. Also, he said, today he sent for checking by Giant Software the Lizard Side Quest 1000. So yes, he is making a lot of good John Deere stuff. Okay, so there's that one right there. The next one, guys. It is by something I cannot wait. I'm so excited for this thing, seriously. Um, what this is, of course, is the gooseneck trailers that 82 Squared is making. I mean, these look amazing. Uh, this might actually make me want to do more round bales. Usually, I'm always, you know, square bales, square bales, square bales, because I hate when they roll. But anyways, this looks good, and I cannot wait for these. Hopefully, it's getting close. Hopefully. Also, the uh, the lizard truck he's making looks really nice. Okay. After that, Euro Agri Modding, he had this to say, some news regarding the Bailey Liquid Trailer. The water trailer will come in two sizes, 15K and 18K liters. It will also support all in-game liquids, fertilizer, milk, and fuel. Uh, the trailer will be compatible with the host system from Wobster. If you are, of course, on PC, it is not in the final stages. Materials aren't uh, still aren't final. Uh, notice the bright green hose. Uh, wiring and hoses still need to be done, but they are getting there. So they're getting closer and closer. They said that they're also still trying to get the Bailey license for consoles, so please be patient, guys. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for that one. The next one is from our good friend GB Modding, the Six Ashes Work in Progress map. You know, the one that's coming to PC and console. He had this to say, would you prefer if the field numbers were at the field entrances or in the center of the field like normal? And do you want the Google Maps image as a PDA? It's about 95% accurate and will highlight the roads better. Let me know in the comments. So I will leave a link to his Facebook page, guys. Make sure you guys head on over there and give you guys his opinion right there. I think it looks good, and this PDA is huge. You see all those fields right there? Wow, cannot wait for this one. I can't wait for Little Norton also to come to consoles too. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing my Let's Play on when it finally hits consoles. Okay, and we have the updates from North Modding Company. The John Deere 959MH and the 953MH has been sent to Giants for testing. Uh, basically, once it's been through testing, guys, make sure you guys go into the game. If you have it in the game, make sure you guys sell that piece of equipment. And then after that, then you can download the update and then bring the new updated one in it. They said it's pretty much a completely new update, which is really cool. Uh, the change log on it. Fixed an issue where it caused some articulated vehicles to float around. Model changes. Added hose. New cutter head. The uh, Warteth H4814. Uh, the door will open when entering machine, new displays, new textures, new XML file, new icons, new interior, new decals, removed auto leveling, and added the 953MH version. Uh, standard body, no leveling. But the, yeah, this looks amazing right here. Okay, so there is that one right there. And the next one we got from is CMT Software, new project. Uh, he hasn't mentioned if it's going to be consoles, no, you know, platform information. But this looks right here, the classic Xerion uh, 3800 Track VC. Looks amazing. We need to get some more class in the game. All we got is from, of course, the premium. And then, of course, we got the class mega pack and a few odds in here, things right there. But yeah, that looks really good. Okay, right, so there's that one. Next one is from Perma Modding, the people that are making, of course, the gravity wagon. He has this to say As we're waiting on some more photos to make the Unifirth 325, which is the gravity wagon, as accurate as we can, I decided to start another project. Might make a bit of a pack of these. This one specifically is the Meriden. 1620L smooth wall hopper bin. Still very much a work in progress model. We'll bring it to consoles, but may have to come as a, either a lizard or a perma's agricultural rebrand. 
But yeah, uh, this looks good right here. Okay, so there's that one right there. The last one we got is from Nathan6930. Big, big, big update. Well, he says small update from Metal Grove, but to me, this is pretty big. Uh, update coming soon to everybody, guys. He has already pretty much sent it off to Giants. Well, the PC version, console version has not been sent off yet, uh, but the change log on it. New pig farm layout, extended main farm, new sheep yard, edit more detail. Sheep and horses now produce manure. Uh, sheep now are able to be fed sugar beets or potatoes. Cows and nurse now accept wheat or barley. Horse mod on the cow farm and pig farm. Second cow pen adds cow farm. New silage pit at cow farm. Straw add-on shed add it. Uh, so that's pretty cool right there. Straw add-on. Uh, seasons, alfalfa and rye has been added. New starting equipment. More fields added at the start. Farmhouse is attached to the forest. Uh, some field deaths have been redone. New grass texture thanks to Oxy. New lighting thanks to Oxy. Various fixes, some uh, new sheds made made by him, new PDA shown below, uh, also some other changes. Uh, so yeah, this looks amazing. This is pretty much completely new Meadow Grove. Wow, I cannot wait to try this one out. Uh, I know probably some of those won't be coming to console, but a lot of those do sound really, really good. Okay, okay, let's get to those mods that came out today, guys. We got the P BGA 300KW, Placeable Refill Silo Salt, Rusty Metal Shed, John Deere 6M series update, the BGA 200KW, manure dealer pack update, big bag container update, and that is it on all platforms, guys. So that is all the mods that came out. That is all the news that came out. Let's get to, of course, that testing list. Uh, testing on the PC side, we have the Bailey TB pack, Can Agro 926VTHK, Crash Barriers A profile set, Fitagari Winter F Series, Phil Trigger Conveyor Belts, Jan Lancer 7500, LED Rear Light, MVP 19, New Holland 185, NMC Timber Loader, Rendon Pack, then we have a bunch of Seasons Geos for Germany Baltic Sea. Germany, Upper Bavaria, uh, Germany, I mean, Germany, Upper Bavaria, South Carolina, and Upton, UK. And that is everything on the PC side. On PS4 and Xbox One, we have the BGA 100KW, the BGA 200KW, which came out today, the BGA 300KW, which came out today, Cowshed, Goldcrest Valley, Horse Joker 6 CT, Husbandry Chicken, Manure Dealer Pack, which came out today. Sheep Pasture. And then last but not least is Tiger Mate 200. So that is all the mods and tests. The number of mods waiting to be tested is 73. Wow, it's under 75. Wow. It is going lower and lower and lower. Current average waiting time, guys, is four work days. Okay, so that is all the news. That is all the new mods that came out, all the updates that came out, and at the whole testing list. Hopefully, you guys do have an amazing day. Hopefully, we did hit that like goal, guys. Remember, 700 likes. And if you're watching this in Premiere, let's try for 100 likes. But anyways, that is everything for today, guys. Remember, guys, today's schedule. We have the new mods and maps coming soon video later on today, probably about three or four hours. And then tonight, around 7 p.m., uh, we're going to have, of course, the first Let's Play on City Skylines. I'm um, going to be doing a lot more Let's Plays, and whenever Little Norton does come out, that will start our uh, Farming Simulator Let's Play on console. So hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Remember guys, also Wednesday, no FS Daily news video, as I will be on a float trip. Uh, we'll probably be doing some, maybe a vlog or a live stream on that, uh, but yeah, that is it. Hopefully you did hit that like goal. Remember guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all-stay farmers. Peace!